Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Valerie, and we're at my home. Today we're going to be testing out a new HD video doorbell. This doorbell is from a company called LaView, and they sent us this doorbell to test. So we're going to take a look. So this is a HD video doorbell camera. It records in 1080p, and it's a nice little compact doorbell here. Um, what's really neat about this is that you can not only record uh, the recordings to the cloud, it also has a slot for a micro SD card so you can re record all your videos locally. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, a lot of people ask us a lot of times, is, do I have to go to the cloud? So having an SD card slot really solves that problem yeah, for people that don't want to use the cloud, right? It is Wi-Fi based. It's Wi-Fi based. And it works, looks like it works with both uh, iOS and uh, Android. Yep. There we go. So let's take a look inside and see what's in the box. It slides out. Well, that's pretty nice. It's pretty, pretty it's tightly packaged too, wasn't it? Definitely. Yeah, it's not falling out in transit, that's for sure. So let's see what we've got here. So first, we've got the LaVue doorbell. It's all wrapped up in here. And that's really small. It's really small. I think this is one of the smallest ones I've ever seen. So we'll take a look here. So let's see, it's got the uh, camera here, I guess, on the top, the doorbell on the bottom, nice and big. And uh, looks like a little hole in here for a microphone or something. And um, in the back, it's got a nice uh, foam pad so that it keeps it sealed from the weather. And actually, that's nice, you know, because we have stucco and it's usually these yeah, things don't work. Yeah, I have a hard time sticking to them. Either. And then two little screws here to hook your wires on. And I, I have to tell you, the one thing I think is really cool about this is that a lot of times, like on some other famous doorbells, these things are so shallow that when you put it on the wall, it kind of bumps the wires. There's a lot of depth here, which means you shouldn't have trouble with the wiring hooking this doorbell up. So that's pretty nice. Oh, well, that's nice. And there's no hole there, Mark. It's there's no just hole? like a bubble from the plastic. Oh. So let me pull the plastic off, see? Well, you maybe. Oh, yeah, I guess there's a, a hole, hole there. All right. There's a hole in there's here. A hole. That must I be think the that's microphone. the microphone. Okay, you were right. I was right. But I do agree with it because sometimes it does look like it's the bubbles. But that's it, pretty pretty uh, compact, so. Here's a little, um, I don't know what you call these things, but in case you need to mount it at an angle. Oh yes, I think that's what it's for, let's see. Other way, I think. Other way, mm -hmm. like this? Ooh, that looks nice. You think that's it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess, that yeah, probably is. There you go. Nice. It kind of hooks on nicely, you got a little either way and you get the, uh, Whatever angle you want to have. Actually, we might like having it like this because we do have an angle in there. Yeah, we do have a little like. angle, so that might be neat. All right. This must be a little wrench. Yeah, you know what the wrench is for. Is there a locking? Yeah, see there's a locking screw on the top. Mm. So you got this for, for locking it down, or it's actually in the bottom. I think almost all these cameras have this kind of thing. And then this looks like, oh, it's a star type, so it's not like an Allen's wrench. But it's interesting because it's another one of these we have to hide in the junk drawer. <laughs> Hopefully we don't need it a lot. All right, so this looks like a special resetting paper clip. So little screws just to be dropped. And then, yeah, the reset button or reset pin. And you know, paper clips look, work just as well. I'm surprised they don't give paper clips. All right, what we else? Might use them. Well, might and the them. wall anchors, that's nice. They give you three, but it only takes two. So that means you can drop one and still keep going. What are these? Oh, these are for hooking up your wires. So, you see these fit into the into the screws here, right here, see? Oh. And then this is a sealed container. You basically take the wire from your doorbell, mm -hmm. you put it in here and you crimp it, and you make the connection. So it makes it nice and easy to hook these things so up. So this is gonna work with our wired doorbell? It'll work with our wired doorbell, that's correct, yep. This is not battery powered, it's, it's, it requires you have a wired doorbell. And uh, from reading the box, since it says you can get a battery-powered chime or something like that, um, that means that it's going to work with the chime in our house as well. So okay. we only have this. Uh, they didn't send us the, the portable chime. So this is going to be the this, big test. Does it work with our chime? Because that is always chime, an issue yeah. with these doorbells. Does it work? Yeah, it doesn't always work really so, well. So all right, we'll see so how that goes. What's this? What's what? What's that? Oh, I know what that is. That goes probably inside the doorbell chime in the house. Oh. You know, how we've gotten this, almost everyone has these things, right? Some yeah. sort of a thing that makes it so it works. So we'll we'll try that out. All right, then, then we've got the, oh, this is the mechanical chime installation instructions. Well, there you go. See, that's exactly what it's showing. And the quick start guide. 
All right. And it looks like they also gave us a little piece of sticky tape. Probably for this thing here. Yep, it's for this. So you can right. stick it where your doorbell is. All right. And that's it. All right, that's it. So uh, Mark's going to go ahead and install it, and then we'll take a look and show you how it works. LeView's HD video doorbell camera works with either of two apps, the LeView app or the HugoLog Connect app. Both work basically the same way, and both from LeView Eagle Eye technology. For this review, we use the HugoLog Connect app because we had previously installed a HugoLog door lock. First, let's see how the LeView HD video doorbell camera worked. Then we will walk you through setup with each app. The home screen shows each device in the app, the HugoLog lock and the Hugo Log Gateway, which lets us control the door lock from anywhere. Pressing the doorbell entry brings up a live video feed from the camera. You have icons for the functions available. These include the ability to take a screenshot or record a live video to your camera roll, which you can play back via the album icon. The playback icon is for playback of video recorded. When captured by the doorbell camera from continuous recording, motion, or doorbell presses. Scrolling up, shows additional functions. It's not obvious that you need to scroll up to see them. The cloud video function is only active if you paid for cloud storage. We did not. The door lock function is only for unlocking the door, not locking. If you press the pencil icon, you enter settings. For our first test, doorbell press, we set the detection to no motion and the recording mode to local recording nonstop, which records all the time to the SD card in the camera. The live video is from our studio camera and the live screen on the iPhone. When the doorbell was pressed, we immediately got a notification on the iPhone and quickly went live by answering. Audio of Valerie is from the video recorded by the doorbell. Hello, may I help you? Yes, I would like to come in, please. Oh, let me unlock the door. Sounds good. Since the doorbell camera is always recording, we missed nothing. And because the door lock is in the same app as the doorbell, we are able to unlock the door from the app. The video live on the iPhone and recorded by the doorbell camera are clear, as is the audio from the two-way talk. Our second test is motion only with human body detection on. Interesting choice of words for detecting people. We are still using non-stop recording. Video and voice clarity is the same, as is capturing all the action. However, instead of a button press, the camera detected a person and sent a notification to the iPhone. Unlike the button press though, when we clicked the notification, we ended up deep in the program and had to back out to the home screen to be able to enter live video. It would have been better if the app just went to live view. At night, we turned on event recording, so only the action captured from the motion was recorded. This is handy both for finding the event and to save space on the SD card. Even though we are recording events only, the action is captured from before the motion was detected, which is really important to make sure you see everything. And we were pleasantly surprised by the quality of the night vision. We also used the expand function to rotate the iPhone screen to horizontal so we had a better view. As you can see, it's identical to the captured video. This time, we didn't let the person in. Overall, we were pleased with the quality of the sound and the video. The only thing that was clumsy was video playback as you had to select the date and scroll through the timeline to find the clip you wanted. The other issue is that you cannot download the video from the app. We ended up using screen record to do this. And when you do, no sound is recorded, at least not on the iPhone. Playback also had some stalls, though it would eventually continue and no data seemed to be lost. Installing the doorbell camera in either app was easy. To use the LaView app, you download it from the App Store and create an account. All they need is an email address, 
where they send a verification code, which you enter in the app and provide a password. Next, you click Add Device and select Smart Doorbell from the menu. Then, for some reason, they have you reset the doorbell. You can use a QR code to install or Easy Mode. We used Easy Mode and enter our SSID and network password. The app will register your doorbell to the cloud and initialize it. You are done. It is installed and on the home screen. The first time you select the doorbell, the app will ask which doorbell chime you have. We selected the machine doorbell. The app will then go live and as you can see, works just like it does in the Hugo Log Connect app. If you press the cloud video icon, they give you an option to pay for cloud services. We did not. Installing the Hugo Log Connect app was similar. You just download it from the App Store and create an account. All they need is an email address where they send a verification code, which you enter in the app and provide a password. Since we already had the door lock installed, we pressed the plus sign from the home screen, then selected Smart Doorbell from the menu. Then, for some reason, they have you reset the doorbell. You can use a QR code to install or Easy Mode. We used QR code and entered our SSID and network password. Next, you point the doorbell camera at the QR code on the iPhone screen. When you hear a prompt, press the I heard a prompt button. The app will register your doorbell to the cloud and initialize it. You are done. It is installed and on the home screen. The first time you select doorbell, the app will ask which doorbell chime you have. We selected the machine doorbell. This is the one where you need to install the Chime Bypass. Note, the Chime Bypass did allow the doorbell to work, but the mechanical chime did not make a sound. We have seen this in other doorbells. In this case, you'll need a different chime, like their LaVue USB wireless chime. The app will then go live. In settings, you can rename the doorbell and even take a picture to use on the home screen. Since the mechanical chime didn't work for us, we ended up getting the LaVue USB wireless chime from LaVue. To install, select Bell Settings from the Settings page. Click Chime Type and select Digital. You'll be given a choice of four different ringtones. We liked Ringtone 2 the best. Thanks for watching our video today. We've included more information about the product, including the links where to buy in the description box below. And while you're there, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you can find out the next time we do a new video. And for more smart home stories, visit appmyhome.com. Thank you. Thank you.